Hello and welcome to Power to the People with me, Graham Price. It's been an interesting six weeks or so since Labour took office, hasn't it? I wasn't naive enough to think things would get better overnight and large changes of government always result in a lot of people watching the party they've supported for years be defeated and they're often not very happy about it. Back in 2010 though, I unwittingly thought that the Tories would have learnt from their disastrous turn in office in the 80s and 90s. David Cameron seemed alright back then, didn't he? How could a man with such a fucking big, shiny, smiley face like that possibly take us down a path to ruin, destitution and corruption? Well, I didn't know enough about it back then to realise how much of a terrible thing we'd done as a nation by re-electing the Tories. There were a lot of people who did realise the mistake though, and there was some unrest at the time. There were huge demonstrations in London and elsewhere about the Tories' planned introduction of student fees, student tuition fees, and austerity. How little we knew about the actual levels of austerity they had planned back then, eh? There were genuine protests rather than riots though, you see. I think... There is a fundamental difference here. In my experience, the left protest and the right riot. The left throw milkshakes or unfail sarcastic banners aimed at Liz Truss or Suella Braverman. The right throw bricks and unfail far-right racist slogans aimed at dehumanising brown people and calling for them to be burnt alive. I'd imagine there are a couple of... Farage's fucking fools already heading down to the comment section to aggressively tell me about two-tier policing and how their freedom of speech is being curtailed while calling me a lefty twat and commenting on a public forum where I think I've proved many times over that I will allow anyone to have their say even if I don't agree with them. So, in the spirit of free speech and with the intent to show these people just how free they are to say what they like, I thought we'd have a little look at some of the the best examples of the f- things the far-right racist rioting idiot, I mean, people with legitimate concerns, have, you know, expressed in my opinions, comments. Come on right up after this. I was just looking at my channel analytics and... I noticed that 53% of people who watch my videos weren't subscribed. The pain. Come on. Just have a quick check that you've subbed, liked and rang the bell. Make a skinny old scouser a little bit happier today. Let's start with a comment that shocked me so much with its sheer level of utter delusion and stupidity that I had to pin it to the top of the comments section so everyone could see the kind of people that were out there taking our country back. This creature responded to my video entitled Not Far Right with this gem. Say is the useful idiot for the fascist Labour Party. Free speech hating, free fort hating, deplatforming, book burning lefty fascists. And Antifa are ironically the fascist in the brown shirts. You, sir, are a clown. He put an emoji of a clown there, just just in case I didn't know what a clown was, uh, apparently. And then he ended with, I bet you read The Guardian. SMFH, tut tut. (laughs) (laughs) I don't mean to offend anybody's gossip, I'm just trying to mix up the accents a bit. How does somebody get to that level of sheer delusion? Obviously, there's a lot of stupidity involved, as he starts by describing Labour as fascists, which basically sets the tone for demonstrating that if this guy's brains were TNT, he wouldn't have enough to blow up a phone box, let alone a travel lodge that Lee Anderson has told him that there's migrants staying in. I'd imagine he's, he's vaguely heard of how the Nazis used to burn books and decided to throw that in there. Despite it not being something that the left wing have ever really done, and certainly haven't done in the UK. I guess he's remembered that the far-right MAGA nutters in America that tried to overthrow democracy in support of Donald Trump just pretended that Antifa did everything that was, you know, that was bad and thought that would work. Yeah, too. 
I would bet my left bollock that he has absolutely no idea what a brown shirt is or what it represents. And no, I don't read the Guardian, but I can guarantee that this fella reads the Daily Mail, or looks at the pictures anyway. Do they still have page three? Let's just do a speed round, eh, and have a look at a few of the short ones, and I'll try not to ramble on them too much. One guy said, Any comment regarding the Muslim Defence League thugs, eh? Uh, not really, mate. No, the clue is in the title. Defence League. If you and your mates were, in, you know, chucking bricks at them, trying to set fire to hotels with the kids in, well, you know, basically just beating up brown people in the streets, wouldn't have anything to defend themselves from, would they? This next one says a lot. No, kind of. If people speak, dress and act normally, then colour will be ignored after two minutes. If the women are made to dress like ninjas and glare at you, then they'll not be so well received. We have uh, freedom of expression and religion in this country. Anybody can wear whatever they like and worship whatever god they like. I'm going to guess that the reason that they glare at you is because you're looking at them like a piece of shit for wearing a headscarf in Asda or a hijab in the post office. Mm. One guy said this. No riots in the UK, just in England, you divvy. He could have avoided looking quite such a dumbass with a few minutes on Google where he would have found out that there were also rioters, sorry, protesters with legitimate concerns doing their best to start riots, sorry, protests, in Belfast and Glasgow, neither of which are in England, you divvy. Philip Matthews pitched in with a short contribution written in all capital letters. Far right, far left, NWO. See me if you can. Okay, Philip. Um, thanks for that valuable contribution there, but let's just put that on a back burner for now while we check whether you've taken your pills today and what time your care work is coming. Chris Black, who is so fucking edgy that he spells his name with a K instead of a CH, said, Thinking of joining the protest after what Keir Starmer said, this is what austerity is. I can only guess that living in a country so absolutely ruined for the last 14 years hasn't for some reason, made it clear to him what austerity actually is or what the word means. I'm not sure what Keir has said that has offended him so much. It was probably saying that people with swastika tattoos doing far-right salutes in front of the cenotaph were far-right. But I guess that if he's dense enough not to know what the word austerity means, I doubt he understands terms like far-right or, you know, the nuances of the Overton window. Another sharp and intellectual individual said, Starmer is to blame with Stalinist actions. I, I answered that one. I reminded him that Stalin used to deal with riots and unrest of any sort, really, by sending thousands of soldiers with machine guns, flamethrowers, armoured cars and tanks to round up the population of, of any sort of village or town that was rioting, take them to a local field or forest and slaughter them all. It was a history lost lesson that was entirely lost on some though. However, as another chap responded, Starmer's still got five years, there's time for that. Yes mate, yeah. I'm sure Starmer is just playing nice for now and he intends to bring in 10,000 soldiers in armoured cars to murder the whole population of Rotherham. As soon as he can get away with it, he's, he's going to get on that. Do these fucking cretins ever stop to listen to that absolute bullshit that spills out of their fucking face holes? Jesus. Another guy said, 
What the fuck did I just listen to? The left really are insane. Yeah. Yeah, okay, mate. The left are insane, yeah. The left didn't just smash up loads of shops and businesses and attack random Muslims and mosques for days because Nigel Farage thinks Andrew Tate, a man who looks about as well endowed as a Ken doll in his trunks but claims to be the peak of masculinity, spread some lies on the internet. Yeah. Apparently the left are insane though. Yeah, we're all insane now. Of course, those comments came from the video I made while those who see Farage as the Messiah and not just a very racist little boy still believed they were on a winning streak. They weren't on a winning streak. And their weird, twisted version of the UK where by Friday they would be burning down all mosques, hanging imams in the street and deporting literally anybody who wasn't white even if they were born in Wales, thankfully never came to be. The decent, normal people of the UK told them to fuck right off and came out in force on the Wednesday. And there were some hilariously pathetic scenes of police officers who were having bricks thrown at them by fat pricks wrapped in union flags just a couple of days before, having to protect those same fat pricks in union flags from the silent majority that they thought they'd shared their legitimate concerns with. Their legitimate concerns that could apparently only be addressed by stealing trays of steak bakes and getting hit in the dick with an errant brick. Of course, the far-right agitators and their gullible, dumb-ass followers, they weren't very happy about that. And they, of course, decided to let me know very clearly in the comments section of my videos. There were some... Very odd reactions though, and, and the, I think the one that shocked me the most were these weird munters that I decided to try and just pretend that it didn't happen at all. It started with this comment. I'm still waiting to see if any of these riots of fascists should enter the room in any of these convenient protests. At what point do we have to admit that none of this actually happened? Despite the lack of the coherent use of the English language in that comment, I can only imagine this guy has decided to just, just, for some reason, just pretend that none of it happened. Nothing is untoward. Everything is normal. Nothing's going on. I'd say maybe this guy has no television, no local news agents, and lives in a cardboard box in the middle of the fucking Yorkshire Moors, but he's got the internet, apparently, so... Pfft, I think all better off there. God alone knows how he's come to that conclusion. Another proponent of free speech wasn't very happy about me freely speaking about the Farage riots and told me I was talking libelous nonsense. I don't think you understand what libelous means, matey. It's only libel when you say things that are demonstrably untrue. This next one was interesting. Even God had a day off. Perhaps I can have a word with him for you. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't, mate. We've been trying that for over 2,000 years and he's either not listening or he doesn't give a shite. Get him to send you some manna from heaven. Looks like you're in need of some sustenance. Well, that's not how you spell manna. That's not how you spell sustenance. I'm skinny because I've got Crohn's disease, but let's not judge him too harshly for being a thick religious dickhead who can't spell and say stupid things about people's appearances on the internet. Let's leave the judgment to God, who apparently gave him a brain the size of a walnut. Now, strangely enough, when I started considering making this video, I had a lot of the most disgraceful comments I'd seen in, in mind that I was going to use. I knew that that second video I made about the Farage riots was a, a particular treasure trove of racist rubbish and right-wing rhetoric. But just got a little surprise when I went back to look for, you know, to look for some to use. It seems a lot of these ingrate cretins have... I've gone back and removed their comments made in the few days after the Farage riots. It's almost as if the silent majority suddenly realised they were actually a noisy, 
racist, stupid, and deeply ignorant minority. I'm, we know how they feel about minorities, don't we? I was really pleased to finally be able to make a Five Reasons video about Lee Anderson the other day. It's been a long time coming. Go and have a look if you haven't seen it, and have a look at the comments as well. There were two in particular that I struggled to decide which one to pin to the top because they were just so utterly fuck-witted that I, I just I didn't really know how to respond. Have a listen to this, and remember, these are the people that looked at all the options that they had, and the state of the country over the last 14 years, and still decided Lee Anderson was the person that needed to represent them in Ashfield. A chap with what could possibly be a very apt title, but I haven't seen him, so I don't know. Paul Gollum. Only had one thing to say, but it was so staggeringly dull-witted and generic that I was genuinely a little bit surprised to hear it. It's the type of thing I thought would die out with the Tories. He said, Still, at least he is able, unlike most of the left, to define what a woman actually is. Well, we've heard that kind of stupidity before, haven't we? I gave him a response and I told him I was going to pin his comments because it was one of the stupidest ones I'd ever had on my channel. And he responded by trying to mock me for only having 2,200 and something subscribers. I'm not sure how that was relevant though because I went and looked at his channel and he had three subscribers and no videos. He was so brave and so committed to free speech that he hasn't had the sense or decency to actually put out anything about his views. Wants to comment on mine though. There was another idiot that left a, a really small minded and, and nasty comment that unfortunately I can't share with you. He was basically accusing me of being a benefits scrounger and attacking pretty much anybody from the north, especially from the north, especially scousers. I pinned this comment and I came back the next day. I was going to copy it and, you know, use it for this. But I found that he didn't much like sharing his opinion. After all, when I'd pinned it to the top and asked a few other people to tell him what they thought. Apparently he lost his interest in free speech after that and deleted his comment. That was very brave of him, wasn't it? I do genuinely like a witty comment, though. I must admit. Even if it's one that a is aimed at insulting me. So, I'll finish with this one that actually made me genuinely laugh. A guy called Ant Peel. I don't know if that's actually his name or just his YouTube name. But his name was Ant Peel. Left a comment saying... <laughs> Agent Smith from The Matrix has let himself go. <laughs> and included a little confused emoji just to make his point. <laughs> Agent Smith. <laughs> well done, Ant. Top marks on that one, lad. Remember to make sure that you take the red pill and not the blue one, though, eh? <laughs> Thank you for watching if you've gotten this far. I really enjoy making these kind of videos, and I hope you enjoy watching them as well. I do sometimes wonder, though, if the right looks so dumb, gullible, ignorant, and nasty to us just because we're on the left. And if they look at us and think that we're just brainwashed in the same way but on the opposite side because you know they're on the right then i look at these kind of comments that i've talked about today and i find myself a bit reassured because frankly these people are fucking morons with utterly moronic views that they only believe because they're fucking stupid enough to look at all the various people that make up this circus of our media and have decided to believe the ones that have repeatedly proven themselves to be nasty, dishonest, far-right, racist bigots. Like Nigel Farage, or Tommy Robinson, or Katie Hopkins, or Lawrence Fox, or Darren Grimes, or Carol Malone, or Dan Wooten, or any Tory that is still left haunting the commons, circling the drain like the nasty bits in the bottom of the sink after you've washed the dishes. You know, fucking liars who spend every day trying to make people angry for the sake of clicks and infamy. Then have the nerve to say, infamy, infamy, they've all got it in for me. 
when we point out that they've repeated bullshit from Andrew, Andrew Tate to a few million people and incited them to actually go out and riot on the streets and try to burn hotels with Muslims in them in the United Kingdom. Anyway, let's leave them to stew in their own Reform UK branded cauldron of cancerous codswallop and far-right thuggery. And remember that the best way to deal with them is just to, just to laugh at them. They're angry because they failed, and they failed because they're ignorant and dull-witted. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more, then hit the join button for memberships. And there's links to PayPal and Patreon in the descriptions box. Or if you, or, or you could just buy me a coffee if you agree that the riots were the fault of Farage and the Tories and were fucking disgraceful. As always, that's nowhere near all I have to say. And there is, of course, a lot more I could say. But that is all I'm going to say for today. ta -ra -ra. Hello and welcome to Countdown to... How many times are we going to do that? Daddy's a dumbass, mate.